Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your daily short kiss, keeping it spiritually simple. One reading today, as opposed to the 12 daily shorts. Uh, I have done, though, today as well, the star sign readings for April for Aquarius, for Virgo, for Leo and for Pisces. They are with uh, my members at the moment and they will be with you uh, later on today, my darlings. So do keep an eye out for those. This reading is for those that most need to hear it. And if it resonates with you, my darling, you are hearing it within your divine design. And if it does resonate or I resonate as a reader, thank you as ever for your wonderful likes, your wonderful comments, your shares, your mention, your subscribes, and for becoming members of this channel. My gift back to you, as you know, is the 30 minute pay what you can online readings. The link is in the description box below. So let's go, uh, let's have a look. I'm using my intuitive life coaching oracle for you. Let's see what wishes to come out. Uh, thank you, Spirit. We have got wishful thinking has come out. You are learning how to manifest the life that you desire because you are sitting within the space of the universal mind. What a lovely um, two cards to come out for you. Wishful thinking. Number six is harmony. Number three is growth. There is harmonious growth happening for you within the state of being of wishful thinking. When we are wishful we are in a state of blissful state of anticipation. We are wish when we wish for something, we are believing in the unknown. We are believing in the unseen. We are believing in a force greater than ourselves. We are setting out an intention within that wish, wishful thinking. You are being thoughtful with your approach to your wishful thinking. And when you're thoughtful about something, it is to show care and consideration towards it. So continue this wishful thinking. You are learning how to manifest the life that you desire. You are learning to, you are being shown examples of that which you are manifesting. It is asking you to recognize small signs of those manifestations. Just like, you know, we plant a seed and we don't expect it to do the um, the bean approach in um, the magic beanstalk. We don't expect it to shoot up suddenly when we plant a seed. A seed. We know that it takes time. It takes time to take root. First of all, then it starts to come up, then it appears through the soil, then it starts to grow strong. And it needs both sun and rain and all weather conditions to naturally uh, happen. There is, even though we can't see it, there is a natural balance in the universe with everything that is being given life. And your dreams, your wishful thinking are giving life to future reality for you. You are creating life through your wishful thinking. Think about it. You are your thoughts count. Your thoughts count. Your words count. So you are you wishful thinking number 63. Think about harmonious growth that's happening for you. 63. Six and three together makes nine. Nine is the attainment of your goals. So do not disregard the power of your wishful thinking. The key with it is to wish it, to feel it, to nurture it, to love it, but to let it grow of its own accord. It's a little bit like if you're waiting for something, you're going to continue to wait. You don't sit and plant a seed and then look and wait and wait and wait over the seasons for it to happen. It's just not going to happen, is it? It is going to happen, but it's going to be so slow you can't see it. The universe is trusting, is, is asking you to trust in the balanced energy with which this is going to grow. Um, and the universe always says yes. So if you are in a waiting space and you're saying, I'm waiting for this, the universe is going to say, yes, you're waiting. You're waiting. And it seems like an endless wait, doesn't it? So that is the first card. And the other card that's come out for you is number 47. Now, four is about stability. Seven is about reflection. Uh, universal mind. You are about to receive the solution to your problem or concern. Why? Because you've let go of it. Solution means to loosen in Latin, solvere. You have solved the problem by loosening your grip on how you think that this was meant to happen. 
and the universe, if you then allowed a space, a void, a space for the universe to create order out of disorder, the law of order and disorder, you are about to receive, you are ready to receive it now, the solution, the fluidness of the universe working for you, solution, the combination of things coming together uh, in a beautiful break, you've, you've broken up a restricted energetic space something that was fixed was resistance and because you loosened your grip you allowed the solution the emergings of more than one aspect more than one energy more than one experience to create the solution to your problem or concern now it's interesting the universe is saying to your problem or concern because we perceive from our egos that there is a problem or there is a concern because from our perspective things haven't worked out quite the way that we thought they were going to work out and therefore it's something that hasn't happened the way that we wanted it to happen but the universe is saying because you loosened your grip on how you wanted something to happen the problem or concern has gone away and has been replaced with a solution so you've been in a space of non-resistance that problem or concern has dissolved or dissipated away so brilliant absolutely brilliant let's have a look a little bit more for you and the universal mind, isn't that a lovely expression with the universal mind? When you are in the space of perceiving life through the eyes of the universe, not so much as our strong identity, but on, as in the natural growth and balances and everything that's happening for you, you're in a state of being in the universal mind. You're in a harmonious universal state of being. You're in harmonious universal mindfulness. And therefore you are vibrating at an energy, a resonant signature that is being responded to by the universe because you're one and the same. Your conception, your conce you're conceiving of a new idea and a new solution through your conception of the issue of the problem being not actually an issue or a problem anymore because you've let go of it. So um, I trust that makes sense. Uh, let's see what the cards have to say for you if you're resonating with this reading. Ace of Cups, absolutely. So uh, Nautilius, I always love this little card. Um, I mean, seriously, it's it's like the Ace of, <laughs> the Ace of Cups is like a new emotionally fulfilling experience. Okay, so this is spirit working through you this is healing this is the deep power of love as well so this is about a new beginning for you and you've got your sight set on it but because it's the ace of cups it's it's although it might have been a little bit of a an impatience within you you have commanded and and beautifully masterfully manipulated energy and controlled the flow of this and this little shrimpy thing has got his beady eye um very much focused on the universal mind and the wishful thinking so um and despite perhaps the the it's the well, how am i going to say this the shrimp is something that we might kind of disregard as being something that is hugely important, but it is hugely important. Uh, it has its place. And we all, despite our feelings of inimportance about ourselves and disregard for ourselves, we're all an integral part of this extraordinary experience called life. We all have a unique part to play, even down to this little guy. So it's you coming into that state of being of recognizing you have a part to play and you have a very important part to play um so let's see what else wishes to come out thank you is there anything else well that flew out for you four of swords um and you've got here the little irish shamrock so this is about what you might think of as luck but actually is you in a vibration of resonance with the universe, the universal mind. In this space of healing, you have connected to, you have created an energetic space that is one of releasing, letting go, truth, clarity, and expansion, and the birth of something new. You may call it luck, but anything that is serendipitous, coincidental, sliding doors moment, anything that's happening for you at this time is a 
cause and effect is an inherent consequence of what you are doing now of this four of swords space which is a wonderful space of of healing i mean that's the simplest that's a healing resting reflection taking a break contemplation silence all those things that actually are very difficult to do if you're not willing to spend time by yourself working out who you are and how you react in life what your default position is in life when something goes not the way that you wish and desire for it to go but there is although there is still around you an energy that is still slightly painful you're not running away from it you're not flying away from it and out of it has come the first signs of synchronistic events and things to show you that you are exactly where you're meant to be and that clarity is coming out of this situation the sea turtle uh this is the nurture of shells this is the queen of cups what a pace a beautiful pace that you're doing this is a languid slow appreciation of um of you of of the depth with which you're embracing this journey and and the ups and downs you're not letting the ups and downs of life affect you in fact you're going with them you're using them to your advantage because you're learning from them you're learning how to balance yourself within this space and i'm talking about balance a lot in this reading so it's obviously a big message for you there is unseen balance in the universe there's unseen balance within these waves the waves represent the up and down oscillating part of our lives, the contrast in our lives. And when we can ride the wave, when we can go with it, knowing that this too shall pass, this is not here forever. And actually, it's all part of this wonderful journey of nurturing ourselves. And as the Queen of Cups, you've got the sun shining down on you here, these little fish with you, the shell here. So there are others on your journey that are with you. Uh, there are others that are there as, a, as an important part of where you are now that may be very different to you, but are also um, encouraging the flow of what's happening for you at this time. And I think also with this Queen of Cups, with the sea turtle, I think you've let go of so much of your sense of duty and responsibility to fix others, to heal others, to assist others, to give each other a give others a sort of push and a shove in the right direction you've just you've let it go and and your focus now is in your generosity of being yourself and having love to give but within boundaries and coming home to yourself the sensitivities that you feel as well the psychic sensitivities that you feel as well I mean this turtle can feel the water the emotions it's very much in tune is in connected with it so um let's see if there's anything else um that wishes to come out for you um because my darling you have got this seeker of apostles. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. This journey that you're doing, uh, now this is the Lama. Uh, this journey that you are doing, I feel you feel you've stood in this place before. But maybe that's in a past lifetime. That's what I'm getting. You stood in this place before. Uh, you're looking around now at your landscape. But there is a a recognition now of the way to go but perhaps you didn't have before you've got birds here to show you about the signs that you are receiving and that you're not alone again you had three birds you had, well, you had four fishes here um there are signposts for you okay the universe is being really generous it's kind of like the great big fat breadcrumbs of signposts that are there for you to show you the way that perhaps because it's a new way perhaps it's a way where you stood before and you've gone another way and now this time around within this wonderful space of wishful thinking and the universal mind you're choosing to go a new way a different way a way that perhaps before you might have feared to go but now you don't fear it anymore there isn't there is a sort of curiosity and a smile and a keen sense of excitement as well um and i i feel that you know you're resting in this space this is the four of swords with this space with the knight of pentacles be sure-footed about where you're going take those steps forward where you 
can kind of it's almost like a sensing and a smell this is the way forward you know use those natural beautiful intuitive instincts that you have at this time the knight of pentacles is the knight that crosses the finishing line this is movement that you're taking that's going to have a completion a success to it and you can trust yourself in this process trust yourself even though you may doubt yourself trust yourself my darling um thank you spirit anything else to wrap this reading up so beautiful we've got two or three beautiful beautiful uh spring like days here in the uk and the sky is bright blue um the peacock the illuminator so the star card as you know my darling is all about real deep healing okay it's about um it's about having gone through something that has been transformative it is having gone through something where you have decided to spend the time reflecting on it for the future expression of who you are, the future full expression of who you are. And the star card is a card of hope for you. It's a card to say that spirit is guiding you. It's a card to say that spirituality and your spiritual view of life is more and more um, becoming a part of who you are. It's a card to say, believe in what you are seeing now being reflected back in your life with the signs that you've been showing you. And it's a card to say that you are not so much reliving the experience, but you are um, reflecting on the experience in order and what is happening in order for you to grow and expand from it. Um, the illuminator, everything is being illuminated to you at this time, and you're not. Um, you're not running away from it, which is so beautiful. So it is to talk about your wishes, um, to focus on that wishful fulfill fulfillment at this time. Thank you, Spirit. You're not yet coming into the full expression of who you are, but my goodness, um, you are so much uh, on, on, on your way. Um, and one last message, please. There we go, that flipped out for you. Ooh, the ibis, the nurture of feathers. So this, the nurture of feathers is the king of swords. Um, I want you to look up the ibis for yourself because uh, I know it's about new beginnings and coming away, escaping almost away from something. So what I'm feeling with this card is the decisions that you're making now, the decisions that you're making now are, are for you acting in a way that is both independently you makes sense to you from a logical place is with the insight that's coming the, the 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 guidance that you're receiving you're about to take flight i feel that the place that you have been resting has been one that has been um has given you that that illumination that foresight to see and there is a new dawn here, and it says, seize the day now as the king of swords. Um, there is, oh my goodness, look at this. So the, uh, I do apologize. This is the nurture of feathers, and this is the guardian feathers. So this is the king. This is the knight. Thank you, spirit. So there, this knight of swords is now you've, you're, you're ready to take flight. You're ready to come away. You're ready to leave behind a period of your life that has had its conflicts and its contrasts but through that you have chosen to fly in a new direction and it is one that you are more than ready to do uh there again new cycle new day new dawn seize the day um it's time spirit is saying it's time um and as this uh, knight of, sorry that was the knight of swords and then you've got the king of swords as an overriding energy you do have support of others around you others that feel the same way that you do others that have the same awareness the same state of perception of of what is happening as you they're there to uh to give you support moral support they're there uh to also help you see things that perhaps otherwise you might not see uh, you're on a mission now. Uh, you have you're just coming back. It's this resting about to flight. So that's in in three different cards now. Uh, and the same with the peacock. Actually, it's sort of not yet into its full expression. You're ready to take flight. You're ready to launch yourself. You're not afraid that that this branch is going to break because you can fly. 
So whatever is breaking away from you in your life now, let it go. Um, and as the eagle come away, just like the knight of swords and now the king of swords with this eagle, continue to move away from anything that's trying to pull you back. OK, so any relationships that make you feel like you're back in the old version of yourself, which you understand and you recognize and you applaud and you love, but you've come away. It's almost like a foreign perception of yourself. So it's about coming away from from environments and situations and relationships that you know are a version of the old version of yourself. And now you're looking at a newer version of yourself and life is beginning to reflect back to you that newer state of being, that universal mind, that wishful thinking, that living in a, a greater expanded awareness of oneself. And so the universe is showing you who you are through your reflection, through relationships with other people and other experiences. But there are, as the, the eagle is, is demonstrating to you, there are still there, there can be there if you were drawn to it, uh, past experiences, past lessons that might come back uh, to show you how far you've come and just to be aware of that it's not a reflection of you it's a reflection of how far you've come it's to show you but it's also your choice whether you wish to get drawn into that or not again um, but this is a beautiful card and um, continue to you know the, the, the eagle will never doubt that the universe in natural balance and timing will present an opportunity to it. And it is with that higher perspective and that higher view of life that it can see that opportunity. But it is also to say, recognize and appreciate the rest that you have had, this, this, this um, time that you have had, the slow process that you have had, all of these animals or birds are bar the, the, the beautiful queen of cups here are in a standing position, but the Queen of Cups is taking it in a lovely slow pace with the sea turtle. But you are, you, you, you need, you've needed this rehabilitation, this reflection, this reconsideration, this rebalancing, this rest and renewal for this new period of your life. You've needed it. So bless what has happened and also appreciate that you're about to uh, fly into literally a new chapter in your life my darling uh, and that is your reading um, unless anything else wants to pop out uh, that is the last of your readings yes you are my darling uh, the six of branches hope and wreath are moving on from the ten of feathers where you felt that you couldn't move something was over something was done it literally took the life out of you it took the breath out of you and actually though 10 was the ending but in that ending there was opportunity for you that's represented by the vulture there was opportunity for you to and it sounds an awful expression but there was an opportunity for you to pick through the ending to see what was there for you that was going to give you energy to move forward and this is the six of um uh, branches the six of wands with the hummingbird and it's a whole different energy with you now and it is one of focusing now on what is sweet in your life what is what is what is to admire what is to enjoy what is to reach for um what is being in the present moment you enjoy your life so much more now uh, but this ending had to come in order for this energy to come through and there are so many choices for you now deeper choices, more on the surface level choices, all of them within your reach, all of them possibilities, all of them encouragements from the universe, all of them signs of your wishful thinking and your hopes and your blessings, uh, all of them for you to play with, to have fun with. There's nothing for you to worry about. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and there is the gorilla card, the balance, the understanding from a balanced perspective that every experience in our life, every relationship is an equal amount of giving and taking, not just from energy point of view, 
But actually, we can give a lesson, we can give encouragement, we can give love, we can receive a lesson, we can receive encouragement, we can receive love. There is a natural balance to it. There is a natural balance in the law of cause and effect, the law of good karma and bad karma. Um, and there are consequences to all of it, um, coincidences, serendipitous moments, all of it. But there is within this space, this energy space, a very protective space for you now and a feeling whether this is a family environment, a relationship, it doesn't matter, my darling, it's whatever resonates with you in terms of energy at this time. But there is an awful lot of information, transference of information, transformation happening within this space, and it's protected uh, with the gorillas. So there, we, and there's healthy boundaries as well that are developing too. Um, and you can see this happening. You can see this. You've got a clarity and understanding of what is happening. So there we go. That was your uh, daily short kiss. Um, tomorrow I'll go back. I don't know. I don't know. I might do a single reading tomorrow. I might do uh, 12 little daily shorts. I like having the flexibility. I go with spirit and I see what spirit encourages me to do in the moment, depending on what uh whoever I'm giving a message to so so much love to you um and I will be finishing off um tomorrow and the next day I'm quite busy with personal readings tomorrow so I will be finishing the April star signs hopefully tomorrow if not two tomorrow and two on Thursday is that right yes and then we will have finished the April readings for everybody so much love and have a rest of a beautiful day take care my darlings bye bye